So I want to share with you making Okonomiyaki omelet and all this amazing herbs and greens came out of the uh, garden. So look at this beautiful spinach leaf. Now with spinach, you don't have to pull up the whole spinach like you buy in the store or cut the base off. It kills it. Just cut the leaves off. And um, here's another beautiful spinach leaf. This here, I don't know if anyone knows what this is. What's this? This is wasabi. <laughs> this is what wasabi looks like. Now, I'm really surprised. I transplanted one wasabi plant that I picked up from the river. And let me show you what's going on with it right now. Let me just step out of my kitchen. And uh, right here is our salad garden. And look at this wasabi. This right here is wasabi. Now I planted it in the shadier part of the, of the wall and also right under where the rainwater comes down. So this soil here is probably the wettest right next to some grape that I have growing up here. There's a little grape plant that I grew from seed. But here's the wasabi, beautiful wasabi flowers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on an adventure and get more wasabi. And since it has a big rhizome root, I think if you bury it deep enough, I can basically have wasabi. And I think eating the leafy green stuff is probably better than eating the rhizome, I would imagine, um, for health-wise. This here is a super herb. So everything from that I've just collected, I just collected from our salad garden. This is basically kind of like a broccoli or, or something growing up so you can cut these leaves off and this is daikon, small daikon and I want to show you this is actually I have little pests that are moles that are digging their holes so this is basically water and urine that I put deep inside the hole and just let it sit there and basically as it heats up it drips it's going to put a very kind of human smell into their holes, their, their, their tunnel system, hopefully driving them out. So I have these things around the different places. Um, got one actually right there. And all it is is a bottle with a hole in it, upside down, and let it drip, drip, drip into the soil. And as it heats up, it creates kind of an environment in there. So, here's another one here. Again, there is a trench in here. And you can see, squeeze it in there. And that's going to basically, hopefully, create an environment where these, these moles are just not going to want to live because of the, the, the stench of the, of the urine permeating through them. All right rinse my hands a little bit all right so other herbs here for mints and some thyme this thyme this is actually rape pods now this is superfood right here this is rape or what's known as canola these are going to be flowers and I'm actually going to put them in the here is some uh, fennel. I actually have different kinds. There is more. Here's another type of fennel. Different species here. Here's a darker one, lighter one. You can see actually this is really, and this is new growth sprouts. You know, this is kind of like uh, anytime you eat sprouts and stuff, they're superfoods because all of the all the power needed to grow the plant is located within the energy of these leaves. Here's more wasabi. This here is, um, actually this is just uh, regular mint. This here is um, lemon balm. Right. And I see what else I have in here. More lemon balm. Uh, and there's the broccoli. 
the flower buds that you buy and that's going in there so this right here is going to be all chopped up now and put into my okonomiyaki omelette so just dice them up into a cup add an egg and any herbs that you want uh, you can add basically any spices up here I've got lots of spices up here you know one of my favorite spices is this one here Chinese five spices and Himalayan pink salt then you're gonna mix this together really well and I can't do it with one hand here so let me do that you really want to really mix it really well and get it really nice and frothy the frothy the better so this is goodness this is basically has more goodness than egg next thing you're gonna do is actually heat up your your stove with a lid that's slightly smaller than your stove you probably have one what this is doing is going to create an oven effect in here right so I'm preheating this up now obviously you can put down a little bit but not too much um, oil a little bit but not a lot just enough to kind of wet it down a little bit just to make it a little bit soft but not loose otherwise what's going to happen is the eggs going to slide everywhere so you don't you want it to grip a little bit other things you're going to need is some tomato which I like to slice really thinly sliced and you'll notice tomato is the last thing I add because I don't like cooked tomato I don't like it mushy I like tomato to re retain its fresh uh, texture so I basically don't cook it the other thing is going to do is chop up more of this because this is going to be more topping uh, maybe some more spinach or something right and finally you'll need cheese this is what Japanese cheese comes in you know <clears throat> rather expensive in Japan cheese is such a commodity um, and I look forward in the future of having goats and having our own milk to make our own cheeses one way to oil is use a paper towel and you can actually just open up your it's actually a little, just rub the paper towel in on the oil right and then just, and that's enough oil just sitting on there and once that's done then you can take your omelet mixture pour it right in the middle and then very important what you have to do is pick up the pan and shake the omelet around look at the size of that omelet that's a big omelet off one egg then what you're going to do is actually put the lid on and that's going to be cooking it so I'm going to add cheese add more material and then I'm going to basically finish it up the purpose of cheese is glue so that's why I want to put this lid back on put the cheese down put the lid back on and let it meet now the the heat should be on a medium to low this is halfway so it's one down you don't want it too hot you want to keep it on a better cook it on a lower temperature not on a higher temperature and as this cheese is melting let's get the rest of the condiments for on top so now it's ready to be flipped added some more base covering the cheese is all nicely melted add a few tomatoes I could actually add some ham in here so here it is it's ready to go and I need a fork let's put this little bit of pre-cooked ham on here I'm just going to use two slices the other ones are for other ones I could just use one these guys are not going to be in here. It's going in a different omelet, someone else's. Let's put this in a bowl. <clears throat> All right. And finally, flip. You want to pull. Here's a little secret of mine. Put the plate in this way and just tip it over. This is a little bit overcooked, in my opinion. But now, I'll slice it up, serve it up to the kids and the family, the wife, see how she likes it.